All right, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Today's Sudoku is called Seven Wonders by J.R. Piano Man. And this looked like it was a pretty interesting one. As you can see, there's, there appears to be multiple rule sets. So let's take a look at those and see what we get. So we've got our normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every three by three box contains the digits one through nine plus each. And we've got normal thermos. So digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip of the thermometer. So on this thermometer, this will be the lowest digit. This will be the highest digit. And these will be some versions of digits in between those two in ascending order. We have normal XV. So digits separated by X sum to 10, digits separated by a V sum to 5, and not all X's and V's are given. So in this cage, these would equal 5, these would equal 10. And it does appear that he's broken down every set of rule sets into different uh, regions. That's the word I was looking for, regions. Well, we got normal Kropke dots. Is everything normal? Okay, everything's normal. Normal Kropke digits separated by a black dot contain a 1 to 2 ratio, which are these digits or cells. And the digits separated by a white dot are consecutive and not all dots are given. So as it says, these two digits are consecutive, two, three, something like that. And these are in a one to two ratio or two to one ratio, however you prefer to say it. So if this was a two, this could be a four or a one. Then we've got normal arrow. Digits on the arrow, arrows it says, but it's, it is arrows, must sum to the digits in the circle. So all of these arrows must sum to whatever that digit is. Normal even cells containing a gray square or even so in box six probably should have been saying which boxes were which but you guys probably already know that in box six is the normal even one so these are just even digits normal quadruples which is in box eight the digits in the circle must appear in the four cells surrounding that circle so two four and five just have to appear in any of those digits any of those cells I'm going to keep messing up cells and digits for some reason today. I don't know why. Then finally, we have normal killer cage. Digits in a cage must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. And this would be uh, region 9. So these two digits have to equal 16, these 13, these 13. And those are all the rule sets. And this is a, a good collection of some of the more standard Sudoku rules. So it's, it's a good intro. Uh, to people who want to uh, start looking at um, different rule sets other than your standard Sudokus. So with all of that said, we are recording, so that's good. Let's get into this and see where we go. So it looks like all of these areas are fairly independent, but there might be something that kind of crosses over. Now the rule sets are all in independent regions, but we're going to have to use Sudoku, obviously, to uh, complete all of these. So what is the most obvious region to work in? I think it's going to be number five, because we end up having four different combinations of two cells that have to equal a singular digit. Well, the only digit that works in is nine. Because if you tried to make this a six, you can only make six with two different sets of digits. So this will have to be a nine and these will all have to be, you know, some one of the four versions to make nine in a Sudoku, eight, one, seven, two, six, three, and five, four. Now, does that nine give me any information in these Kropke dots? Because if you uh, have watched previous videos or are familiar with black Kropke dots, you can't ever put a nine on a black Kropke dot because there is no four and a half or 18 in a typical Sudoku. So one of these digits has to be a nine, which does give us information. It actually means that this digit has to be an eight. Why is that? Because we've got a nine in either one of these. If this was a nine, the only way to go in a consecutive pair down from nine is to eight. The exact same applies here. So this has to be eight. So this actually gives us a 9-7 pair because there has to be 9-8-7 in either direction. So let's get rid of that notation and put in our 9-7. So now we've got 
a 987 triple. Looking into our one cage, or one uh, region. So where do you put 9, 8, and 7 then in this one? Well, this can never be 9, 8, or 7. This can never be 9, 8, or 7. These can never be 9, 8, or 7. So one of these four is where the 3, 9, 8, and 7s go. We can take it a little bit further, say, well, this can never be 8. So the 8, and this can never be 9 either, so the 8 and the 9 have to be in this um, area. This can never be a 9, because it can't be in the middle of a thermometer. So we've now ruled out 8 and 9 from all of those, which we can just kind of mark that in here. Now, if this was 8, this is forced to be 9. If this is 8, this is forced to be 9. We still have that 7 kind of wild card going on out here. So let's go back into this box. And we know this is 8, so this has to be a 4. Oops, I'm on the wrong setting. Because the only uh, 1 to 2 or 2 to 1 ratio digit for 8 in a normal Sudoku is 4. And now we're running down the line, so this has to be 2, this has to be 1. Now we also have this um, crop key dot here, the black one. The only digit left or digits left are 3 and 6, so that forces this to be a 5. Now the 5 has to be consecutive, so this has to be 6 and 3. Now we are moving. So we know a couple of things now. We know that there, well, we know these are 2, 4, 6, 8. We can't put 2 up here, and we can't put 6 up here. So we know we have a 6 up here, and we know we have a 2 down here. That forces a 2 and a 6 into these two digits, because you see we have a 2 here, rules out all those. We've got the 6s here that's ruled out in all those. So these are 2 and 6. So what goes with 2 and 6 to create 9? Well, that's 3 and 7. Now we've got a 3 here, so that's going to give us our 7 and our 3, and that's got to be 2 and 6. Now we need a 1-8 pair somewhere. We've got a 1 there, so this has to be 1-8. This has to be the 5-4. There we go. We've got some traction going. Now we can move up into region or box 2. This five cell digit, there's only two ways to make five in a normal Sudoku. It's one, four, and two, three. We can't use the two, so it has to be one, four, which is going to point back here and give us our five and our four. Come on. Oh, I did that backwards. Five and four. Sorry. There was a typo. So now we know this is either one or four, and it has to equal up to a 10, so it's either nine. I am just on the wrong settings all the time. 9 and 6 are the possibilities there. Now we know this is a 1, 4. This has to be the other version of the 5, which is 2, 3. There's a 3 here, so this has to be 2 and 3. That 2 points here, that has to be 8. This cannot be 8. So these are the 8, 9 pairs. Let's put those in and get rid of those. That 8 gives us the 1 and the 8. That 7 gives us the 9 and the 7, and this is going swimmingly. So now that we've got an 8 down here, this forces this to be 6, 8, and this has to be 2, 4, which tells us what these two digits are. This one has to be the 9, and this one has to be the 5. There we go. Okay, uh, I don't necessarily want to put these in just yet. We know what they are, but they're not going to give us a whole lot right now. So the next area to look, I guess we can go down into box 8. We know there has to be a 1, 8, and a 9 in, this, in these four cells. There's a 9, 8 here ruling both of these out, so these have to be 8 and 9. And there has to be a 1 here. Now, we do the same thing with 2, 4, 5. No, we can't quite. We can put 2 into one of these, and we can put 4 into one of these, but that doesn't give us any types of pairs, because that 5 can go anywhere at the moment. So the next place to look, we know we can go back up into here, into this box. We know there's no 1s in any of those, because 1 has to be on a bulb of thermometer, or it's not on the thermometer, but this has to be 8 or 9, so that doesn't work anymore. So that's a 1, which will force a 1 down here, but that's not doing too much for me. 
Now this has to at least be, or at most can be a six. So four, five, and six are, I'm gonna write those in just so I have them. Okay, that does give me, because this at most could be six, we, go, we can create what the actual digits can be since there aren't too many options anymore. Now this has to be one, two, or three by doing that, but it sees two and three, so we've got the one. Why is this being a pain? Or why can't I type? That's probably the more valid question. Okay, so we've got the one here. Where else do we have? So this minimum has to be five, which is gonna give us a couple of options. Well, actually it's gonna give us everything we need. Maybe not everything. This has to be either seven or eight, but it can't be eight because there's eight here and there's an eight here. So this has to be the seven. So it forces this to be six and five. We now cannot have six or five here. So this is four, three, two. I will continue to mistype all day long. This has to be one and four due to this four. This four creates the six here. Now we have this column all but done. It needs a three to finish it out. So it's gonna go there. These are actually seven, eight, and nine, but I'm not gonna type all that in just yet. What else? So we need to have a five, a seven, and a nine. Well, the nine can't go in either one of those. So this is the nine. Now, seven can't go there, so that is the seven. This is the five. That nine gives us an eight and a nine. Okay, we seem to be moving. Now, can we do this six just yet? Or can we do some maths maybe to figure it out? Or do we even want to at this point? Maybe we can go back since we just got more digits up in here. Yeah, so the five can't go in here anymore. So it can't be either one. So this is the four or five pair. Let's get rid of that marking. That gives us this digit, which is a seven. These three have to be one, two, and six, it appears. Not too helpful just yet. I said, I don't want to start writing these in because there's tons of options. Well, not tons, there's three digits, but there's nothing really ruling those out, I don't think, just yet. So what about this six? What well, can't be two, four, because then you'd have nothing to put here. So it's e so it has to be one, five. That's the only other option because you can't do three, three. So this is a one, five. Which means there's no fives in any of those because of these two so this is five is there anything else on the five side that i could do not really so now that we've got we've got two thirteens so how do you make thirteens we well, could do nine four you do eight five but you can't do eight five because we got a five here or you can do seven six those are the only options so you've got the four six seven nine quadruple and you can use your nine here to get rid of the nine four here so there that's six seven this is four nine so that four nine is going to tell me that this is two and this is four and we still need a three in this box so it's going to have to go there these two digits have to be two and eight, and clearly the two can't go there, so that's two, that's eight. That eight's gonna give us six and eight, and this is all working out swimmingly. <clears throat> now, do we have anything over here I can start getting rid of? That's not eight. These have to be of the sevens, because there's a seven here. It's gonna probably be Sudoku, because I'm mostly out of clues to use. Well, don't see anything there. The two, actually I have a two is given right there. This might, yes, yeah, so here that two cancels that out. So this is two and one, and this then has to be six. That six gives me seven and six. One gives me five and one. And the seven can't be there anymore, so it has to be here. 
which means this has to be 8, this has to be 9, 9 and 8, and 4 and 9. Those aren't quite ruled out yet. These two are 2, which has to go here, and 6. Where can a 4 go? It can go in either, well, this, what are these two? Let's just look at that. These are 3 and 4. We've got a 3 here, so this is 4 and 3. Just make sure I didn't mistype that. That's 5 and 4. Now we've got two digits left, which are 1, well, two digits left on this box, which are 1 and 5. Now we just have to go through Sudoku and finish things off. So this is 1. All the 1s are now done with that. The 2s are done. The 3s are done with that. This is a 7. This is a given 7. This is a given 9. And then this one then becomes the 6. This is 8. And this is 4. And there we go. Cool. Good puzzle. Great introduction to a lot of uh, Sudoku rules if you are not as familiar with them. Absolutely recommend taking a look at this one. Uh, if you haven't already finished watching this. So, hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. Seven Wonders by J.R. Piano Man. Loved it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.